Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is VitaFuser, in our last episode, we made it through the third case of Ace Attorney. We managed to get Diva Divasquez, although we also proved that she was not the original murderer, that Jack Hammer was trying to murder her instead, and it didn't really now, we are going into episode 4, Turnabout Goodbyes, the original finale for the game. Believe it or not, Ace Attorney was originally a Game Boy Advance game. I know. Shocker. So was Justice for All. And because of that, they only had enough room for four cases. This was supposed to be the original finale. Then, they got re-released for... DS. Well, Justice for All didn't add anything. Ace Attorney did. They added an extra episode, which sort of explains a uh, thing from Phoenix Wright Justice for All. So, without further ado, it's time for us to get started. Wow, very noir. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I'll have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Edgeworth! Why do you have that? You're smarter than this. You know you're not supposed to manhandle the murder weapon. December 25th. Oh, it's Christmas. Hey, hey, Nick. know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I want to go over a waterfall in a barrel. Or, I mean, a, I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Uh, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news. A large, unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. And a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. God help them. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax, we don't know that. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. We don't know that either. Ugh, <sighs> boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick! Apparently, Fay Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. The suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? What? 
Edgeworth? What's going on here? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yeah, my, uh... The firemen yelled at me when I called them. We have bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What, you mean the prosecutor? No, I mean the ventriloquist. Yes! He's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? When? Where? When? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. December 25th, Visitor's Room. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it all comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. There he is! Ah! Hey, Edgeworth, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, gee, I wonder. He's been accused of murder. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney? Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Because you're glaring at me, that's why. Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either, believe me. What happened? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you gonna do about it? Defend you, dumbass! Duh! We're gonna help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Oh god, you're one of those proud guys. Not to be uh, confused with those assholes uh, in, the, in the current media. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Four, technically. And none of them were considered normal. Hey, sure you got lucky and won all three. Four! But your luck's bound to run out someday. You're right, it actually is. But that's not going to be for quite some time. You need real skill, Roy. Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick! Why am I the old one who always has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way from your offices and the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth! You didn't really... Gordy. I went to see Gordy. Dude, there is no way someone as uptight as you is interested in Gory. Steel Samurai? Maybe. Well, definitely. Gordy? Nah. I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Hey. Look at this badge. Your Tony's badge. Edgeworth, let me defend you. Ha! <laughs> uh, was I actually supposed to do that? Good one, right? But I'm not that hot up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? You're being too British for me to understand. Me, trusted wet behind the ears of Tony with only three trials under his belt. Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Well, then let us. We're offering to help you. Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault they lack confidence. Well, your tactics haven't really been good. I 
After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. Yeah, that would do it. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Did you do it? This is really hard for me to ask. Did you do it? Think what you will. I've only one request. Stay out of this case. Guess what? I'm not gonna do that. Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick, Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate somewhere. But Nick... That is about all we can do. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around here. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot! The trial's tomorrow! We need clues on the double. But, sir, there aren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if you do. So just get out of my face, pal. Y yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Eek! Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? Don't worry, he learns it in the next few games. Just, what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh. You don't say. Look at this badge. You're showing that to the wrong guy, pal. You gotta show that to the someone who needs it. We did! He turned us down! Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow. Okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night around 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. And that boat were two men. How many were going to St. Ives? One of those men shot the other with a pistol. One of them was. And Edgeworth stupidly picked up the murder weapon. The shooter was Edgeworth? Cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well... It was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth's a murderer, do you? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right! Who cares what that witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, Detective? Of course I do! Because believe it or not, these two go way, way back. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taken this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, I have to imagine no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him, and lost, your reputation would be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is... well, is pretty solid. 
I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're gonna turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially, especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over and over. Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Who is this witness? Uh, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw uh, everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only one witness? Yeah, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no, sir. Not yet. But there is a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. Guess you heard. Gotta go. Any last things you want me to... Before I head back? First, the autopsy report. Uh, sorry, I haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually... Say, if you get the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Uh, probably not, pal. So what do we do if we gotta talk to you about something? Oh, right, here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Alright, we got the directions to the police station. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? We'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, Paul. No problem, pal. You got my permission. Don't know who this Paul guy is. You know, Nick? I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's get investigating. Alrighty, we know what to do. December 25th, Gord Lake. Wowzers! This is Gord Lake? Yep. Not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. After all, we're not Inspector Gadget. Probably not. But hey, look, a snack stand! Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please! I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how, not, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the Pink Princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. Hot dog stand, it's closed. Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. Banner reads, Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Let's see, Woods. Oh wow, someone's camped here. No camping. <laughs> Look, someone's camping. They got guts camping at the scene of a murder. And with a no camping sign to boot. Hey, Nick, they're camping here last night. They might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. I know what this is. Let's see. Hey, Nick, check out this camera. Yeah, what's with the big mic and that box on top, I wonder? Looks like some sort of automatic system for taking a photo when a noise is heard. Wow. Hey, let's see if it works. 
Maya, you're gonna get yourself into trouble again. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying loud enough. Yo, I'm Nick. Nick. Will you stop that? I think it's broken, Nick. Don't kick it. That's expensive. Oh, that's how you set up, um, profiles. Jeez. Let's see. Assassin's V have seen better days. It's dented all over. can't believe anyone would drive the car here. Hey, Nick! Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no, I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum, then. Well, it's light, and it conducts heat pretty well. I'm not having this conversation. Food and some magazines. Oh, hang on. I'm missing something. I didn't see this. Party poppers. Well, if it doesn't... Well, if it's not set up that it can uh, go with voices... Then a one and a two. There. Party poppers. That's what's supposed to happen. You're on candid camera, Maya. Well, it responded. Yeah! Hey, you! Get your hands off of that. There she is. Yeah! What in the Sam Hill? Look at y'all done now. There goes a whole roll of film. What? Huh? Sorry, sorry is nice, but you don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of that film costs, especially today. I'll pay you back. What are y'all thinking setting off a party popper in a place like this? Well, what? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I say those southern folks with that exaggerated drawl. Well, they must be so dumb. It's not that hard to imagine her sounding like Sandy Cheeks from Spongebob. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb doesn't mean we all... <laughs> I forgot that one. Nick? Help! And who are you now, her chaperone? Yeah, uh, rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's drawls than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy, I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. Really sorry. What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole row. Sorry, that didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Well, fine then. Let's see if this works. This is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You cop or something? 
I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now, huh? Because I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestle meaner looking things than you. You know what? I believe it. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool! Your definition of cool is a little off. Well, why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if... <laughs> if it pleases you. Thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada Hart. You can call me Lotta. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research broad. No, you're not. Mighty pleased to meet you. Alright. Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. Happened last late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Christmas Eve? A man on the boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. The boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Nah, sure, though. Y'all yeah, gotta remember, I've been watching this lake here for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. Right. So what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? Haha, <laughs> y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Right here in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. She's a research student at a university. Country you. So I hear. So when did you come up here? Let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. I find that hard to believe. What are you photographing? Didn't I tell you that already? Meteors. Yeah, meteor showers. Falling stars in the middle of freaking December. That ain't happening. That's quite a camera you have there. Especially since it's set to record sounds, not stars. Y'all better know it. It's German made. Genuine Solingen. Is that supposed to be like a parody of a camera thing? Because I know that my dad is really into photography. He knows a hell of a lot more about that than I do. Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Yeah, your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera. Neat. Alrighty. So. A camera that's set to take a picture with loud noises. Lotta. Your camera triggers on loud explosion noises. Yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright. I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken last night. Late last night. I checked them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. But what if I got something? I could be witness to a genuine murder. Yeah! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, here. She went inside her SUV. Guess we should come back later. Alrighty. Lots of moving in this case. 
We have to go all the way to the Criminal Affairs Department. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! Just finished the meeting. For better or worse. I got the feeling we're in for some bad news. You know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. So how'd the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling if he'd done something wrong, he couldn't go hiding it. It's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think he still did it, huh? Well, the trial's starting tomorrow as scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by, Mr. Edgeworth. Boom, 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 da da dum, dum. Okay, the cheap joke's over. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe. How come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. You're, uh, leaving out the fact that he, uh, saved your life, too. We trust each other. That's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a bit extreme at times. A little? But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. How's that worked out so far? That's why I work extra hard, pal. We gotta earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Autopsy report. Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Alright, one bullet to the heart. Nick? Huh? Can you show me pro the photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling I met him somewhere a long time ago. Believe it or not, I believe we saw this picture in the uh, Marvin Grossberg thing. Alrighty. Now we gotta go back and check on Lada. There she is. Hi, y'all. Lada! Wait up a sec. We got bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. This is them. Take a look. See, see? He's shooting him with a pistol. Looks like that, yeah. But we don't know who it is. You can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But y'all know, seeing these photos reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. Oh, God, you're the witness? Are you serious? Gosh, how do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I don't think it really matters. I reckon so. I reckon so. What's that? Now don't go trying to mock my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, Lana! What? Can't y'all see I'm kind of busy? Tell us what you saw too, please. 
That's right, honey. I was born yesterday. I'm a witness. That means I'm on the side of justice. And that means it. Right. I'd sooner eat the south side of a northbound skunk than tell ya. But ah, uh, don't let me get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or is that the other way around? Never matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Aw, oh, darn. Yeah, who do you think's gonna do that to ya? We are. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. Question is, what did she see? We'll find out in the trial tomorrow. Let's see. Oh, God, I remember this part. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! <laughs> Nick, it Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. You know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous, dude. It's me, Larry. Oh God, what are you doing here? In an office? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl Keyonce deserves the... Oh, God. Keyonce? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Keyonce's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea I wear the costume. She was all, You go, girlfriend. You know? She bought this costume for me. That's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. She must be really nice. Well, oh, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your... Not my what? No, she's not. She's too young for me. I'm his partner, my F.A. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick must be tough. Working nine to five. Have him take a cute little sister. <laughs> Okay, the cheap, cheap jokes keep coming. I'm not Nick's sister, I'm an older sister's little sister. Huh, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. Hey, Larry, there was a murder here last night. Since you work here, you heard anything? You're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He would have been standing out here in the cold. I think what you said just caught him off guard, Maya. No, it's just... Keontae's not in town right now. She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there is a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh! Neat! The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Nick? Why would Larry know Mr. Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth? Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. Whoa! Murder? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class at a, as us in grade school. What? Tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I mean, they look kind of gourd-shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. The samurai thing was Keontae's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Yeah, she's good with her hands, huh? So, kids can't get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers at the lake with the, the big news. Yeah, Gordy! So Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, Hint, Nick him and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, trying to be like father. Like his father? 
Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Oh, you have no idea. Wow. Wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a sec. But Mr. Edgeworth's the prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a proboscis on his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh. Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. What changed his mind, though? Oh, I don't know. We're probably going to hear one way or another. You know Nick? Nick? Um, what's Gordy? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very leg! A giant mysterious monster! The magical mystery tour of Gordy! A monster? Yeah! Check it out! This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. Wow, it's really real. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's a log or something, right? Not even that. Let's see, set the camera to automatic, and when we got to the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a loud sound like an explosion? Larry, can I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Oi, there, Larry. Alrighty, back to the entrance. To writing company law offices. Oh, nothing, just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I remember now. This guy, he's a lawyer that I was at the office Mio worked at. Oh. I met him once when I was there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up with. No kidding. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. Because this is like the last game that Grossberg really shows up in. That isn't a flashback. Alright, Grossberg Law Office. <coughs> there it is. Aha, you owe me as um, something or other, are you not? I was our understudy, yes, Mitt Phoenix Wright. Aha, you owe me as uh, something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. Takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon. You see? Mr. Grossberg, sir? <coughs> oh, yes, I, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. Oh, what is it then? Something the matter. What happened? There was a murder last night. Murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just shut up, you say? Well, Miles Edgeworth sought someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did you shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. Guess he hadn't heard anything. What if happened to that painting? Oh yes, but I don't think it will ever be coming back home to this office. Can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. Let's see. Presents... How proud Mia would look like if she could see you now. 
She said she was more worried about me than anything. Ah, oh, just go and take the compliment, will ya? What was that button again? Oh, there's a safe thing, so if I want to do something on the later game, I can figure that out. Oh, that's how you do it. And it's not here, of course it's not. Autopsy report. There. Mm hmm? Strange. I feel as though I've seen that man somewhere before. Ah! You remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edward sought? Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was a defense attorney in that case. That case. You'll have to be specific. Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Sounds so familiar. Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during a trial for Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss, they used a spirit medium. That was the case that uh, impacted her mom. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fay, your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. A yell incident. Six incident. Yes. Happened 15 years ago. Very strange case indeed. We'll actually explore that case in a later game. That never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to the charges being laid out against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blamed my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, Mr. Grossberg. Uh, yes, uh, quite. Thank you. No, please, don't mention it. The L6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that have to do anything with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Ew. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Share him this. I'm sure I'll talk to you. This is a photograph of my mom. Alrighty, I believe that'll do it. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten the message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Guess what, buddy? We're not budging. Edgeworth, it's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. Yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your order to cut defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you went up for the job. I just wanted you to keep away from the L6. So do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well, ask whatever you like and I'll answer to the best of my abilities. Alrighty. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Ooh. Right before my eyes. 
He was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. Sure sounds like it. In any case, the suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. There was an attorney by the name of Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond's the victim in the Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end. And now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago. On December 28th. The statute of limitations in the case runs out in three days. Oh boy. What? Nick, what does that mean? It means you only have a limited amount of time before you can't do anything with that case. When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed. Forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old right now. I guess I understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. Alrighty. Huh. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, Royce? I don't think you're the kind to of point a gun at anybody. No. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know you want us to defend you! Yes. Will you? Of course we will! Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need it now. <laughs> my letter of request. Give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should. Uh-oh. Earthquake! Earthquake, Nick! It's a big one! Ah, it's calming down. That was scary. Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. Oh, he's scared of earthquakes. Guess he doesn't do well with earthquakes. I read running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. He doesn't seem like he's gonna be standing up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Right. I have to get Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's all this about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? No, no, not at all. I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Hey. You trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. Modest testimony. She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth buy the pistol. She even had a photograph to prove it. I saw it too. But you really can't tell in the, the, from the photo who it is she's shooting. And why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. Oh, she's going to enlarge the photo. Ugh. She said it'll drop the quality of Mike, but should let us see who's who. She can do that? 
okay, there's going to be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great. Just great. In any case, she's going to be one testifying tomorrow. What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. How do you cancel? Break tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We've got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. What did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to sign a public defender. I was just asked to fire the paperwork. You still got time, pal! Go talk to him again for me, please! You have to convince him! You gotta make him let you defend him, please! I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Edgeworth. Without further ado... Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal! But I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. See you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal! Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. Oh, really? I was worried about Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go rest, go eat, and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later! Wonder what it is with Edgework and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. Look at that! We'll cut it off here. And tomorrow we're going to meet our opponent in the, tr in the trial. See you guys next time.